Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of War Machine Season 3.1. So, featured here is Semi-Final D, where we're going to add another robot to the list of robots who have made it to the Grand Final episode by the end of this video. So, so yeah, featured here will be the eight robots who made it out of Heat D, whether it is through their opening round matchup or the Redemption Rumbles. Just like the last three semifinals, all eight of these robots were seeded and placed into an eight robot bracket. We'll fight it out bracket style for a spot in the semifinals. So, you probably already know the basics of this if you've seen the first three semifinals. So, let's just go ahead and get right to the bracket. So, yeah, right at the top here, we got the top seeded Super Snake, a lifter robot, lots of push power. Lots of maneuverability, pretty fast, and a pretty effective lifter. And this is definitely going to be a robot that's going to be a force to be reckoned with. As, yeah, just know if you have any doubts about that. Basically, just check out their history in War Machine Season 2. Because I guarantee this robot is definitely a favorite to win it all. Especially after their domination and their opening round matchup up against St. Agro. Facing Super Snake here will be the dual horizontal spinners of 13 Black, who started off with a loss to Breaker Box, but then came out of the Redemption Rumbles with a win over Limpet and Exterminator. So, definitely don't underestimate 13 Black here, but we'll find out whether they can dethrone the King or not, or if Super Snake's going to have another dominant performance. Over at the other side, we have the two seated Breaker Box. Breaker Box with a dominant victory over 13 Black in their opening round matchup. Breaker Box is another one to watch here. On the opposing side, we have Hypnodisc with their horizontal spinner. They started it off with a loss to Smidzy, but then came out of the Redemption Rumble with, of, with Saint Aggro and an adorable kitten with the win. So, yeah. Number three seeded, we have Beast 2, powerful flipper. Who got, a who got a relatively quick victory over an adorable kitten in their opening round matchup. And definitely, probably one of the bigger forces to watch here between the many, between the flippers in this one. So this one's probably got the most powerful flipper between the, between Sewer Snake Breaker Box and Beast 2 in my eyes. So, Beast 2 is definitely one to watch as well. On the opposing side, we have the multiple weapon robot Smidzy. Get a victory over Hypnodisc in their opening round matchup. It'll be interesting to see how they use their dual weaponry to their advantage in this fight with Beast, whether they come in with that wedge, come in with the horizontal spinner, or use them each for parts of the fight. Then over at the four seed, we have Megabyte, the full body spinner, the four seed in the postseason bracket in War Machine Season 2. Yeah, Megabyte got a solid victory over Exterminator in their opening round matchup, and definitely this is one of the more destructive robots uh, on this on this bracket. So definitely watch out for Megabyte. But opposing them is another pretty destructive robot. We have the horizontal bar spinner of Tornado Murr. So Tornado Murr is definitely gonna be another one to watch because that bar spinner does is technically a little a little bit of a full body weapon just because it'll spin at all sides of the robot but tornado murder got a pretty solid victory over limpet in their opening round matchup and this should be a pretty entertaining battle between spinners yeah so as i mentioned before these robots will fight it out bracket style for a spot in the grand final or at least hope to get in the top four where if they where if they get second third or fourth place they'll be able to compete against many of against many of the other robots who got second, third, and fourth place for one of five wildcard spots. Basically, they won't be out yet if they at least get into the top four. So, But it's always better to get that first place because then they have an instant spot in the grand final. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to the first matchup here where we're going to see the four-seeded Megabyte take on the five-seeded Tornado Burn, two of the bigger spinners on this bracket. Yeah, so both of these are technically full body weapons, because like Megabyte's a full body spinner, Tornado Murr is a horizontal bar spinner that reaches out in all directions of that robot. This is going to be an interesting showdown, I feel, because like we got two very destructive weapons here between the two of them. It's really going to come down to which robot's going to break down first. 
because we've seen lots of spinner battles throughout War Machines ever since Season 1, and likely one of these robots' weapons are going to break in this one. But that might not happen, because we have seen robots with their main weapons last the full three minutes both sides. So could that be this one? But either way though, I think it's just going to come down to that and who can control the brunt of this fight. This should be an interesting showdown. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Here we go. Both robots gain their weapons up to full speed. Megabyte comes in for the first hit. And they're popping Tornado Mare up in the air. Big hit, and T Megabyte is flipped over here. Tornado Mare coming in to take advantage of that. Nice hit, but Megabyte self writes. That was a big hit on the underside there. Now we got some more weapon on weapon action between the two. That cone shaped full body spinner seems to really be helping Megabyte in this one because they're, they're popping Tornado Mare up into the air, showing some good control in this one. Looks like Tornado Mur though has no choice but to challenge that full body spinner and hope to break it or something like that. But right now it's not really doing much because right now they're just getting popped up into the air and getting knocked off balance in this one. We're getting close to a minute in. It's pretty much just been a lot of weapon on weapon action so far. The big moment so far has to be that flip that Tornado Mur did happen to get on Megabyte in this one. But still, it's been relatively close so far because most of these weapon on weapon shots have definitely been going in Megabyte's favor so far. And now, right as we hit a little over one minute, part of the bar spinner has come off. This is exactly what I was talking about when I was now analyzing this matchup here. I was predicting that somebody's weapon was eventually going to break, seeing that we were going to have a lot of weapon on weapon shots here. And sure enough, that is Tornado Murr who is getting broken down. And that is a flip right there. A big flip right there. And another piece of the bar spinner comes off on Tornado Murr. Tornado Murr is flipped over and just taking hit after hit from Megabyte. Without that bar spinner there, Tornado Murr is unable to self right But Megabyte just keeps coming in for hit after hit. And there we go. Tornado Murr now back up. But the problem is they have no weapon left right now. So it's really just going to be the body of Tornado Murr hitting the full body spinner of Megabyte. Not exactly a smart way to go, but we got smoke coming out that's been going for a little while, but still. And now we have another possible flip was on its side, but now they're flipped over again. And now Megabyte coming in for more hits. The pit's open and knocking Tornado Murr down the pit, and that is going to do it for this one. Megabyte will advance. Yeah, so I was expecting this one's going to feature a lot of weapon on weapon shots, and this one's going to come down to who has the most durable weapon. And sure enough, that is pretty much what happened in this one. It was, for the most part, even in this one, because Tornado Murder did get probably the biggest hit of the match, and it right at the beginning of that one. But then Megabyte was just popping Tornado Murr up into the air when those two would go weapon on weapon. But as soon as that bar spinner broke on Tornado Murr, it was pretty much all over there for Tornado Murr. As Megabyte was able to get a few flips, just knock Tornado Murr off balance, land hit after hit onto the body of it, and then eventually hit Tornado Murr down the pit of Oblivion. Great performance by Megabyte. We will see Megabyte in the next round, where they will take on the winner of Sewer Snake and 13 Black whom we will see later in this round. But coming up next, we got the three seed coming in here. We'll see Beast 2, who is going to take on Smidzy. Yeah, so Beast 2 with that very powerful flipper in there. It's going to be interesting how they take it to Smidzy, who has not one, but two weapons. Smidzy on that front has a pretty low to the ground wedge, and then on the other side, they have the horizontal spinner. I think it's going to be come down to how does Smidzy use those two weapons there to their advantage in this one, like because like definitely they're going to, Smidzy is going to have the advantage damage wise, but then going but then we've seen horizontal spinners go weapon on weapon with flippers and it hasn't gone into the favor of horizontal spinners for most of those exchanges, but it's first time for everything we could see something like that occur in this fight so. But yeah, it's definitely going to come down to driving and how Will Smidzy uses those two weapons. I think it's time. Let's go ahead and determine who will advance to the top four.
time for this battle to begin. Smizzy leading with that wedge, takes a flip very early on, but now we got some head-on action, and Beast 2 goes over the top and takes a hit from the horizontal spinner. Definitely good stuff of Beast 2 going over the top of Smizzy, and now taking hits from the horizontal spinner again right at the sides. Looks like this is how Smitzy is going to use it. They're going to try to use the wedge to get underneath Beast 2. And then Beast 2 hops over the top of Smitzy. And just start grinding at them with the horizontal spinner. And there's a nice hit once again. And now Smitzy is flipped over. And when Smitzy is flipped over, that wedge is not going to be of any effect against a flipper robot like Beast 2. Who is now launching Smitzy up and into the air several times once again. We're getting crossing the one we're crossing one minute into this fight. I'd say Beast 2 has the lead right now. But now here comes Smizzy coming in with that wedge. We see some head-on action between those two. Hard to tell who is winning in this right now. But there goes Beast 2 right there. Taking a flip of Smizzy. But Beast 2 flipped over in the process after a nice flip. Smizzy couldn't capitalize, and now we got some more head-on action. Smitzy now coming at the horizontal spinner, trying to cause some damage in this one. A few more nice flips from Beast 2 in this one, showing off the power of that flipper right there. Excellent stuff from both robots here. Smitzy now at the sides of Beast 2. And now, look to lead the horizontal spinner, but then Beast 2 caught them by the sides and landed another nice flip. Another flip taking Smitzy into the corner right there. We're approaching one minute to go into this fight. Right now, I would definitely say Beast 2 is on top with those powerful flips they have been landing in this one. But that could easily change, because if Smitzy can cause any damage with that horizontal spinner, that could definitely change the outcome of this fight. And now Smitzy on top of Beast Smitzy on the bottom of Beast 2 is sitting on top, not until now though. And now here comes the horizontal spinner landing some more shots to the sides. But so far, not a lot of damage from that horizontal spinner right now. Beast 2 is taking those hits very well right now. Less than a minute to go in this one, and a few more powerful flips from Beast 2. What a fight we are seeing so far. And now Beast 2 has Smitzy into the corner once again. And, and lands a few more flips. Smizzy now out of there. But Smizzy probably going to need a knockout here because these flips that Beast 2 is landing is just stacking up the points in their favor right now. Less than 20 seconds to go in this match. Now Smizzy underneath Beast 2 once again. And now here we go. Here comes the wedge trying to lead the horizontal spinner and out of the arena with five seconds left to go in this one. Uh, the knockout hasn't been declared, but I will tell you we're giving, we're giving Beast 2 the knockout in this one. Because Smitzy is clearly out of the arena in this one. Beast 2 will advance regardless of what the game says right there. This game says Smitzy's not out of the arena, but it looks like he is out of the arena, so we're going to count it. So anyway, dominant performance from Beast 2. Smitzy looked like they were trying to lead with the wedge, get underneath Beast 2, and then use that to their advantage. And Beast 2 hops over to get a free shot with the horizontal spinner. It did work a few times throughout the match, but overall, those flips that Beast 2 were, was landing was too much for Smitzy, and then they ended up out of the arena towards the end of the match. Beast 2 will advance. We're going to find out their opponent next which is going to be the two-seated Breaker Box, who is going to take on the seven-seated Hypnodisc. Yeah, so Breaker Box led it off against horizon the Horizontal Spinners of 13 Black. They draw another Horizontal Spinner in this one in Hypnodisc. So B Breaker Box's strategy is probably just going to be the same thing as what they did last time when they fought 13 Black. Box Rush the Horizontal Spinner controlled the match with that scoop. That scoop was able to take hits from 13 Black's horizontal spinners very well, and I imagine this match will be no different. So, Hypnotist strategy, on the other hand, get that horizontal spinner up to full speed and land a big hit on Breaker Box and hope to do some vicious damage. So, yeah, let's find out. Can Hypnotist succeed where 13 Black failed when they fought Breaker Box? Let's find out and let's get to this match. Alright, here we go. Now Breakerbox instantly charging and stalling that blade. He done Hypnodisc. Now Hypnodisc gets away, looking at the spinner to speed, but Breakerbox on them again right now. 
This is Breakerbox's typical strategy against horizontal spinners like Hypnodisc, for example. And now Breakerbox taking Hypnodisc into the rails once again and knocking them off balance and such. And yeah, Breakerbox is not letting Hypnodisc get any breathing room here. Nice stuff from Breakerbox so far. Or this excellent strategy right there. Or, and. Yeah, taking Hypnosk into the rails, the pit is now open after that horizontal spinner hit the tire right there. And now, here we go. A few more hits to the front, but that scoop is taking those hits very well and helping them stall Hypnodisc's horizontal spinner in this one. Breakerbox is not giving Hypnodisc an inch in this one. Excellent stuff from this one. One minute into this fight, Hypnodisc is having such a hard time with this one. And since they just can't get enough breathing room, nice hit right there that flips both robots. Hypnodisc got a self right. They're trying to use the self rider, but now Breaker Box is just on them once again in this one. That was the first solid shot from Hypnodisc, but didn't seem to do much damage to Breaker Box in that one. Now here they go on the attack once again. Here we're halfway through this match. I'd say Breaker Box is pretty safely in the lead right now, because right now Hyp Hypnodisc has just not landed the shots they were hoping for so far. The pit button's already open, so no need to worry about that, either of you, so. But yeah, so, here we go once again, and charging in there once again, Breakerbox is just doing an excellent job with charging in there, slowing down that spinner, but that spinner is now getting up to full speed once again, and, and trying to get to the sides, but just not doing much damage so far. Less than a minute to go. Let's not forget that one single piece of damage could change the outcome of this fight if Hypnodisc can accomplish that. You know that top is looking a bit crooked and on Hypnodisc right there. But still, one big piece of damage could end this fight very quickly for Breakerbox if they are not careful here. But right now they are doing a good job of preventing Hypnodisc from getting that shot they are looking for right now. Excellent driving from Breakerbox here definitely driver of this season award or winning driving so far 20 seconds left to go in this fight it's definitely looking like like breaker box's fight to win right now as hypnotist just hasn't been landing the hits they are hoping for in this one and yeah so now being taken into the corner once again here less than 10 seconds to go it's looking like we are gonna have our first judges decision of the episode this, this fight has gone to the distance now. And so, yeah, excellent driving from Breaker Box in this one. Is I personally don't think this is going to be a hard decision to call here. Because Breaker Box is just charging in with that lifter to stall Hypnodisc's horizontal spinner or take the impacts from it. And then just control the fight. Take Hypnodisc into the corner, use the hazards to their advantage, and so on. But... Yeah, so yeah, these fights are judged on damage, aggression, control, and weapon usage, and yeah, so definitely aggression and control is pretty much all breaker box right there. Damage, there wasn't any damage done by Hypnodisc's horizontal spinner, unfortunately, as they were they unfortunately couldn't get the hits they wanted in that one, and yeah, weapon usage, probably relatively even, but that might go in Hypnodisc's favor, because... Like, while Breakerbox did charge in with that scoop, we didn't get to see the lifter in action really that much. But either way, though, oh, let's go ahead and hear what the judges had to say and find out what they thought of this fight. Yeah, so the judges' votes are in, and we have a unanimous decision. The winner is... Breakerbox! Yeah, kind of as I expected in this one, because... Yeah, Breaker Box just so dominant throughout the full three minutes of this match, and Hypnotist just couldn't get the shots they were looking for, caused the big piece of damage that they needed in this one, and yeah, well-deserved victory by Breaker Box in this one. We'll see Breaker Box in the next round, where they are going to take on the powerful flipper of Beast 2. But before we get to see that matchup, we have one more first round matchup to see. And it's between the top-seeded Sewer Snake and the eight-seeded 13 Black. Yeah, so Sewer Snake start off with a relentless victory over St. Acro, while their opposition had to come out of the Redemption Rumbles 
but showed in that rumble that they are not to be underestimated in this one. This one's going to come down to driving once again, and because Sewer Snake is almost for sure going to need to take a few hits from 13 Black. But 13 Black cannot control itself very well when upside down. And so Sewer Snake's for sure going to be trying to take advantage of that, that in this one. Either way, though, this should be an interesting showdown between these two. Good way to end the first round. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Time for this battle to begin. The horizontal spinners get up to speed. Saint looks like Sewer Snake taking a few hits to the side, and they just lost part of a wheel right there. Good thing Sewer Snake has Omni wheels, but 13 Black is now flipped over there. And now a decent flip right there from Sewer Snake. Another good one that flips themselves over in the process here. 13 Black up and running, and here they come once again, knocking off another part of, part of another wheel right there. Now 13 Black takes another flip, but Sewer Snake has flipped over as well in this one. 30 seconds in, this has been a pretty pretty interesting showdown so far between the two. Now we got Sewer Snake finally writes itself while 13 Black trying to self-write, but struggling to do so in this one. And Sewer Snake, a nice lift right there, nice flip right there, and off comes an entire wheel on Sewer Snake. Sewer Snake is taking some big damage to start this one. Another flip right there, but Sewer Snake ends up being the one off balance. 13 Black opens up the pit. Not sure if that's a wise idea, because Sewer Snake definitely has the bigger push power. Maybe not anymore, though, because the lifter has come completely off of Sewer Snake, and off comes another full wheel. Sewer Snake, the one seed right now, and one of the favorites to win not just the semifinal, but the whole entire tournament, maybe on the ropes in this one. Because they have lost the majority of their primary weapon, a third of their wheels, at least. And, yeah, halfway through this match, I gotta say the 8th seed, I think, is in the lead right now. I think the underdog, is, this might be the underdog's fight to win right now. And off comes the rest of that weapon on Sewer Snake. And Sewer Snake, can I get 13 Black down the pit? The pit might be their big shot at winning this one. I can't believe what I am seeing right now. Could we be seeing the first monster upset right now? Could we see the first one seed go out in the first round in between these semifinals? Off comes part of another wheel on Sewer Snake. Unfortunately, they have Omni Wheels, so four wheels left. And pushing 13 Black down the pit, Sewer Snake advances in not so great of fashion, though. Man, I imagine with if Civilian Arc's watching this, He's probably going nuts right now, and the fact that he doesn't like pits, I feel this fight would be one exception since he's a big Sewer Snake fan. But holy crap, that was a wild fight. Like, I honestly was thinking this is going to go to 13 Black. 13 Black was actually going to pull it off. Because like, while Super Snake was getting several good flips in there, 13 Black was doing some vicious damage, knocking off bits and pieces of wheel on Super Snake, and eventually got to the weapon, but then the Pit of Oblivion being open might have been their biggest mistake, as Super Snake ended up getting one last push to get them down there, which was probably Super Snake's only shot at winning this fight with the damage they took, and that ended up being enough for Super Snake to be able to advance to the next round. A pretty solid comeback victory by Super Snake, but definitely exposed the big weakness in that robot for when they take on the full body spinner of Megabyte in the next round. So, yeah, Super Snake will advance to the next round, and we have our second round set up where we will see a matchup between Super Snake and Megabyte, a so pretty solid rivalry matchup between the two of them. And then on the other side, we'll see Beast 2 and Breaker Box, the two and the three seed, clash it out for, for a spot in tonight's final. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and get to the first matchup where we're going to see Beast 2 versus Breaker Box, a battle between two control bots in this one, and this should be an interesting one. So, what I believe this fight's going to come down to is driving, because these are two both control 
type robots. Like, neither of these two robots have a destructive weapon here. Both of these robots are meant to try to control the fight there. So, this is, this is going to come down to both ground game and driving in my eyes. See who can control more of the fight, and it should be interesting either way. I can't wait for this one. Let's go ahead and get right on to it. Alright, time for the matchup to begin here. We've got a driving showdown between the two. Breaker Box at the sides of Beast 2. And Beast 2 on top of, of Breaker Box there, but not now. And a nice flip by Beast. And Breaker Box self rights the use of their lifter. And now at the sides of Beast 2 once again. And taking Beast 2 into the corner right there. Nice stuff from Breaker Box to start this one out at least. And there we go. So nice flip from Beast as Breaker Box flipped over, but but looking to self right that lifter, they do right there. So another nice flip. And now we got these two almost locked together, it looked like. Looked like they were stuck. But nice flip, nice couple of flips right there. Big flip from Beast 2 right there. It's crazy how Beast 2 can just stack up on points as simple as snapping your fingers like that. So Taking him into the corner once again. Beast, Beast 2 being controlled by Breaker Box here. And now we got a nice flip right there. Another nice lift. Can Beast 2 get the out of the arena here? Because that's probably one big advantage of theirs. Because they're definitely a bit more capable of getting an out of the arena like that than Breaker Box. Well, Breaker Box has succeeded a few times in the past of getting an out of the arena themselves. Beast 2 being forced to self right while Breaker Box just keeping them in the corner here. Some excellent control there from Breaker Box from the lifter right there. Some more excellent driving from Breaker Box. Honestly, with Beast as well, because Beast has now gotten a few flips, and now it's Breaker Box that's in the corner right now. And they took one flip, but then managed to use the arena side rails to drive right out of there. So, excellent use of the arena right there. And now they're in control of Beast 2 once again. We're approaching the one minute mark in this one. I'd say Breaker Box has controlled a little more of the fight, but I would say Beast 2 has had the better moments between the two of them with that flipper right there. Another nice flip from Breaker Box. And nice flip from um, Beast once again. Beast 2 taking those attacks very well in this one. We've seen no damage so far, but that could definitely change within this last minute. Nice flip from Beast once again. Another nice flip. Definitely been a ba pretty back and forth fight so far. And yeah, Breaker Box evades that flipper once again here. And now takes another flip from Beast and self rights with the lifter pretty easily. 30 seconds left to go in this fight. Another flip once again. Another flip there. So yes, yeah, excellent fight from these two. Both of these two robots want that grand final spot badly here. Nice flip right there from Breaker Box, taking a Beast 2 around the arena once again. Nice flip, less than 10 seconds to go, almost gets out of the arena right there. Five seconds left to go in this one, solid fight here. Nice flip from Beast to end the match here, and this match is going to the judges. Yeah, so that was a three minute brawl between these two control robots, both of them trying to outdrive the other, and we got to see some great moments from both robots in this fight. This was an epic showdown, definitely one of the best ones of the episode so far. Yeah, so this one's definitely going to come down to who won more of those control and aggression points, I feel. Because we didn't see a lot of damage from either of these two robots, so I doubt that's going to factor in too much with this one. But I would probably say Breaker Box controlled a little more of the match between these two robots. But then on the other hand, I would say these two's control moments were better than Breaker Box's control moments. So there's a lot to factor in with this one, and I imagine this is going to be a very close judge's decision. And who, I bet the judges had a pretty difficult, uh, yeah, the judges probably had a difficult time determining a winner with this one. But either way, let's go ahead and find out who won this impressive matchup. So now the judges' votes are in, and we have a unanimous decision. The winner is. Breaker Box! Yeah, that was, that was an 
epic showdown between the two of them. Um, definitely back and back and forth with driving for those two. But overall, it did end up being Breaker Box getting the victory with probably probably because they had they probably had more control moments between the two of them. But either way, though, that was an epic showdown. Beast Two has I could definitely see Beast Two claiming that third place spot, assuming they win their next matchup, depending on who it is. But we'll find out. Let's find out who will be joining Breaker Box in tonight's final, and let's find out who will be joining Beast Two in tonight's third place match between our next matchup, which is between Sewer Snake and Megabyte. Yeah, so these two robots definitely go a long ways back. Maybe not in War Machines, but in Robo Games, these two have met quite a few times that I know of. So. Yeah, it'll be definitely be interesting to see a War Machine showdown between these two robots and see who's able to prove their might in this. So right now, Sewer Snake coming out of a pretty concerning win over 13 Black, where they stacked up on damage big time, but now and now they're up against Megabyte, another spinner. And a pretty powerful one too, who has beaten 13 Black in in the past season of War Machines. So, but either way, though, definitely don't underestimate either of these two robots. I imagine we could see another back and forth showdown. Let's go ahead and get right to this matchup. All right, here we go. And now we got weapon on weapon action here. And now Megabyte spinning out of control. Part of a wheel just came off a of Sewer Snake, but Megabyte is smoking right now. Megabyte not the way they were hoping to start this one, but now Sewer Snake off balance. Megabyte still off balance himself, but now underneath Sewer Snake, trying to get some damage done with that. The Spikes getting involved here, and we got more smoke coming out of Megabyte. This is not the way they were wanting to start this one, I imagine, because now Megabyte's also on control board damage, too. Definitely not a good start for Megabyte here. They've taken a lot of damage already in this one, and we're not even a minute into this one. What damage have they done to Sewer Snake so far? Just part of that wheel right now. Not the way Megabyte was hoping to start this one. Hopefully they can rebound from this, because that full body spinner is still working here. But Sewer Snake just not letting them out of the corner until now, right there. But now Megabyte trying to self right as is Sewer Snake. Who's gonna be the first one to self right between the two? Sewer Snake, you gotta get off that spike trap though, right there. Who knows how much damage those spikes potentially did to Sewer Snake right there. Both robots just trying to self right and struggling to do so, but Sewer Snake's the first one to do it. And there goes that lifter once again, knocking Megabyte off balance here. Megabyte still just struggling. Now they're up, but not before Sewer Snake gets right back on them in this one. Halfway through this match so far, I gotta say Sewer Snake redeeming themselves pretty well from that last matchup so far. But we still have a minute 20 seconds to go, which that could very easily change. Sewer Snake with a nice pin on Megabyte right in the corner right there. Excellent stuff from Sewer Snake. And now Megabyte gets out of the corner, delays the countdown there. Nice stuff. But now here comes Sewer Snake with a few nice lifts right there. Megabyte, gotta get some breathing room. Gotta get the whole body spinner from full speed with them righted, of course. Because right now they've spent a lot of this fight just trying to self right in this one. But now Megabyte up, gain that spare up to speed. Now coming in for a few nice hits. But now Sewer Snake right back on them. Off comes the top of that lifter right there. Definitely not some, not some damage that Sewer Snake would probably wants to take. And off comes the wedge right there. Sewer Snake has lost their primary weapon now for the remainder of the fight. But now we have a little less than 30 seconds left to go. Can Sewer Snake, they have that full body spinner stalled. Can they prevent Megabyte from doing any more serious damage until the clock runs out right there? But now it's really solid pin right there. Sewer Snake asserting their dominance right now on the full body spinner. And this matchup is going to be going to the judges. And that was a pretty solid fight overall, I'd say. So... Yeah, another one into the judges' hands, third one of the night, and I imagine probably not the last one, because we got a bunch of big titans here in the final four, so. 
there's a, another lot to analyze here. Because um, in terms of judging categories, aggression and control is definitely going to go in Sewer Snake's favor right there. Because they were just so dominant throughout this match. And Megabyte definitely spent a lot more time than they probably wanted to on their heads in this match and trying to self-right. But then on the other hand, with damage... At first, it was a lot on sewers. A, a lot of it was being done by Sewer Snake, as we saw Megabyte smoking almost instantly in this matchup, and definitely, and yeah, pretty much some internal damage definitely right at the beginning of this match. But then towards the end of the fight, Megabyte knocked off both pieces of Sewer Snake's primary weapon right there, asserting some damage that could definitely change the pace of this match but either way though we might have another we have another we could we have another judge's decision that i suspect could be closer than what a lot of people might imagine either way though great showdown let's find out who won this so the judges votes are in and we have a unanimous decision the winner is sewer snake that was a pretty good redeeming match from Sewer Snake after the wreckage they took in their victory against 13 Black right there. It was a pretty solid victory right there. So, yeah, we'll see Sewer Snake moving on to the next round where they're going to take on Breaker Box for a spot in the, this season's grand final. While on the other hand, Megabyte will be taking on Beast 2 in our next matchup where they will fight for an automatic spot in the third place bracket. Because while fourth place, you're not exactly out yet, fourth, fourth place, they'll choose some wild cards that will join the third place robots in the third place bracket, depending on their performance throughout all of their matchups. So it's definitely better to win that third place matchup and confirm your spot in that bracket. Because it with the fourth place robots, not all of them will make it past into the third place bracket. So, yeah, even though I was probably really confusing with that, let's just talk about Megabyte versus Beast 2. So, yeah, so this one's definitely another showdown similar to Super Snake versus Mega Megabyte, where this one's going to come down to can Beast 2 control the match, or can Megabyte do some vicious damage with that full body spinner? We didn't see a lot of damage from Megabyte in the battle with Sewer Snake, but this is a whole different robot, so who knows what's going to happen. Hopefully Sewer Snake fixed the internal problems that definitely that probably hurt them in that match with Sewer Snake. And yeah, this should be an interesting showdown. The two robots are ready to roll for this one. Let's determine who's going to get third place in this semifinal bracket. Time for this battle to begin here. Meeting in the middle right there. Nice hit from Megabyte, but now a nice flip from Beast. So, definitely another nice hit. Beast 2 trying to get underneath. Now Megabyte trying to chew up the internals, but their full body spinner is stalled. Not until now, though, where they're getting it up to full speed. Landing a few glancing blows to Beast 2, but so far not doing a lot. Nice flip from Beast right there. Another nice flip once again here. Beast 2 knocking Megabyte off balance. Nice flip right there. Tossing Megabyte around right now. Nice stuff from Beast 2 to start this one off. Definitely showing their dominance with that powerful flipper right there. But they gotta be careful about that full body spinner of Megabyte. Because that thing is definitely a lot more dangerous than what people might think. Nice flip once again. Here comes Beast 2 once again. Landing a few more flips. Forcing Megabyte to self right. Trying to go for the out of the arena. They miss right there. And taking Megabyte into the rails once again, allowing the arena to take the impact from that full body spinner rather than Beast. Decent flip, but now we got smoke coming out of Megabyte. Megabyte having issues once again with those internals, but now trying to take Beast 2 into the corner. They now have Beast 2 pinned in the corner right there. Excellent control moment from Megabyte right there. Beast 2 now trying to get out of there. They do so, and lands a big flip that tosses Megabyte all the way out of the arena, and Beast 2 has confirmed their spot in the third place bracket. Excellent stuff from Beast 2 in this one. Definitely coming out of that flipper, knocking 
knocking Mega Blade off balance and then eventually sending them all the way out of the arena in there to assure their victory and confirm their spot in the third place bracket, which they'll use to try to get a wild card into the grand final. Excellent stuff from Beast 2. We will find out after the last semifinal episode whether Megabyte's resume of fights so far was enough to get them a spot in the third place bracket so far. Excellent, another excellent showdown. Let's go ahead and get to our last match for the night because we got a grand final spot to determine. It is between the top seeded Sewer Snake and the two seeded Breaker Box. Two very similar designs overall. Once again, like the Beast 2 and Breaker Box fight, I think this one's just going to come down to driving and ground game here. Because both of these two robots are going to be trying to control the other. And yeah, try to win the fight by dominating more of the fight. And this one really could go either way in my eyes. These are two robots that have met in Robo Games before in the past. And this should be another excellent showdown here. I can't wait to find out who's going to claim that grand final spot, so let's go ahead and determine it. Time for this match to begin here. Breaker Box, Sewer Snake, trying to outmaneuver the other. Sewer Snake lands the first blow right there, landing a few nice flips right there. And now, and now Breaker Box evades, gets out of the corner right there. Nice flip right there from both robots right there. Now Breaker Box has Sewer Snake into the corner right there. And now Sewer Snake gets out and gets underneath Breaker Box and starts landing some flips right there. Excellent stuff so far. Nice flip from Sewer Snake once again here. Knocking Breaker Box off balance, flipping them over a few times, forcing them self right. But now Sewer Snake flips himself over here. Miss lift by Breaker Box and Sewer Snake makes them pay for it with a couple more great lifts right there. Excellent start to this fight from Sewer Snake so far, but now Breaker Box has Sewer Snake into the corner once again. Nice stuff right there from Breaker Box as they now have Sewer Snake pinned. But now Sewer Snake gets out after taking many lifts from Breaker Box here. Nice flip from Sewer Snake right there. But now Sewer Snake can force itself right right there, and Breaker Box is taking advantage of it. Great stuff from both robots so far. We're a little over a minute in. Both robots have had some great moments so far in this one. Breaker Box gets to the sides of Sewer Snake, lands a flip, now they're at the back side right there, continuing to knock Sewer Snake off balance, flip them over in this one. Excellent start to this match from both robots here, and yeah, we're about halfway through this match, it's been relatively even so far, it's hard to tell who's winning this one and right now, because it's just been so even. Nice flip from Sewer Snake, giving Breaker Box a serious amount of air time in that one. And now Breaker Box right back on them, lands a couple lifts right there. Great stuff from Breaker Box there as well, so. And now Breaker Box takes Sewer Snake into the rails here, forcing the self right right there, which is what they're doing right there. And nice, another nice flip from Breaker Box here. Now here we go, another nice flip from Breaker Box, or from Sewer Snake right there. Another big flip from Sewer Snake. Definitely Sewer Snake having the better control moments between the two of them. Breaker Box definitely coming in with some great moments of their own in this one. Nice shot from the floor flipper right there that gives Breaker Box some breathing room they need. And now they have Super Snake once again pinned in the corner right there. I think the pit button is now has been pushed and is now open right now. So 30 seconds left to go. This has been one fantastic showdown between these two robots. It's hard to believe. It's too bad we can't get both of them instant spots in the grand final right there. Because these are two final worthy robots, but all came a wheel right there! And all comes one of Sewer Snake's wheels! I'll trade you a wheel for a wheel right there! As Breaker Box loses one tire, Sewer Snake loses part of one of their Omni wheels right there. Five seconds left to go in this match, this final is going to the judges! And that was an awesome showdown! robots. The first final of the semifinals to go to the judges so far between the four we've had and this is not going to be an easy one for the judges to call because we saw so much back and forth action between these two great lifter robots. Yeah so what's this one going to come down to? I think control moments once again this is going to be very similar to Breaker Box and these two. Because I personally felt Breaker Box probably controlled a little more of the match between the two of them. 
but I definitely felt Sewer Snake's control moments were a bit more effective and a bit more entertaining than Breaker Box's control moments. And then the other thing is, we had damage in this one too, late in the match, because we saw Breaker Box lose a whole wheel part near the end of that match, but then following that, Super Snake lost part of a wheel in that one. So, definitely can't underestimate either of these two robots here, and this also be a very interesting judges' decision here, and I can't wait to find out who's going to take this one. So. so yeah, the judges' votes are in, and we have a unanimous decision, surprisingly, because I thought the was going to be split. The winner is... Sewer Snake! That was another barroom brawl of a showdown between the two of them. We saw so much back and forth action. I seriously wish I could have just accepted both of them to the grand final right this instant, but we'll have to see Breaker Box. We'll confirm their spot in the second place bracket, where I bet they have a serious shot at one of those five wildcard spots. Either way, though, that was an epic showdown between the two of them. Like I said, I love to see so much back and forth action, and we got a lot of that in this one. We will see Sewer Snake in the grand final, who has officially confirmed their spot with those victories over 13 Black, Megabyte, and Breaker Box. And Sewer Snake will definitely be one to watch, as they are probably one of the favorites to win the whole thing. Yeah, so that'll conclude it for Semifinal D. Thanks for watching this one, and tune in next time, where we will feature, which will feature the eight robots who made it out of Heat E and will compete for another spot in the Grand Final. Several big names are in that one, so definitely some more interesting fights will be coming for this one. Thanks for checking this out once again, and I'll hopefully see you next time.